another video. Um, you guys may have seen in my shorts, the furry tech came in. Um, it's a really good rig for 300 some bucks. I forget how much. Um, we have like 450 with all the upgrades and with tires or the Endura tires. These are a uh, rock or crawler terrain. I these are kind of like a Hyrex or a Super Swamper tire. The trail weighted rims. Um, and we have a Savox servo. Um, it's a really good servo. I like, I run Emaxes and stuff like that. This is a really good servo though. It's probably even better than the Emaxes, but they're like 40 bucks or 30 bucks, I forget. We, my dad put a Spectrum receiver in it. This one, I put the Subox servo, I installed it. This is my dad's rig to clarify. So I think for this rig, the best thing for your buck is this rig. Um, we have some, give me a second. This rig will probably do comparably well, or it would be comparable to my Warthog. The Warthog would probably do a little bit better than this rig with the well center gravity and everything. So this, we have a, it's a, my camera will focus, it is a Samex, I'll put a link in the description to that, and these brass weights, these are RC all-wheel drive brass weights, uh, I'll go ahead and put the tire back on, where is the, I seriously just forget where I put the nut at, oh, it's in, there, well, duh, so, once it warms up, it's currently kind of snowing outside, and it has snow on the ground, once it warms up, and snow melts off, we will get a course run for the Freytek Cayman, aka all the red is what we call it, um, and I'll get a course fit or I'll do a video on the Warthog once all my parts come in and a course run on that when it warms up. And as the Capra, sorry guys, I'm just zoning out here. Um, the Capra and the Deadbolt will also get some videos on for the course. Now, this truck is one of the best rigs. These are the stock tires here. Um, they're actually a really good grippy tire, but they're just super small, if you guys can see, to these tires. Uh, I, we call it Old Red because it's red and it's a power wagon. So, so put, this body sometimes is a little bit tricky here. You got to put it right in that slot down there. There it goes. You got to line up to the bottom. It is a really good rig. Uh, it's probably the best rig for the price you can get it for i think we have like 450 bucks into it so that's pretty good compared to the gladiator which is 600 and the warthog which will be around 550 and so in the deadbolt which is kind of like probably around 350 ish but the this one is a really good rig here's a Underneath, you got the FMS portals, the portal covers, which I talked about. Link in description. Link in description of this rig. Um, link in description of tires, wheels, and pretty much all aftermarket stuff. I'm going to start doing that. Um, we have... I'm trying to think if we have... Oh, shot came loose. But I think that in the future, this rig will be really good. It's going to do really good. I highly recommend this rig. And I highly recommend this over a custom build. If you're doing a custom build, um, I can't stop you. I personally like doing custom builds. That's me. But if, like, my dad didn't, or he did a custom build on a rig, that will be, I will be dropping a video on it soon. But I think this is one of the best rigs ready to run kit by Furry Tech. It's the Furry Tech Cayman. I'll put a link in the description of the truck, like I said. Um, I, I can't think of anything else. Um, I hope you guys have the best rest of your day. And leave a like and subscribe for more content.
and see you guys in the next one. Bye.